this is Pamela and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel and I am so happy to be on here and making this video for you guys and um, I'm excited to see all the different beautiful projects that you guys are working on. So grab your cup of coffee, grab you something to drink, sit back and relax and let's just enjoy some good old crochet whip Wednesday talk. All right so what's on my hook today or this week I guess you could say is I have been working on like a little Easter outfit for the 18 inch dolls. And so here's the little girl, <laughs> the 18 inch. I say little girl, not yet. This is the 18 inch. Okay, and here's what I have done on the little girl. I've got one shoe <laughs> and the dress and I still have the uh, little flowers, the hat and the purse to make and she will be completed. So I've already sent this out to my testers and I'm so excited about this. And I do have a little boy that I'm planning on making something for him as well. But we'll see. Um, I guess it just depends on the timing. <laughs> okay, and so the stitch of the week that I have coming up is going to be the linked half double crochet. It looks like this on both sides. I think you guys will, are going to love this one. Linked half double crochet. I found it very fast to work. So I hope you guys do too. I'm looking forward to um, showing you guys how to do a linked half double crochet. And then the next week I will show you how to do a linked double crochet. And I might even show you how to do a linked treble crochet. We'll see. But for right now, let's work with the linked half double crochet. So look forward to that. Okay, so I did get a birthday card in the mail and this is from Rose from Maryland. So Rose, I just want to say thank you. I love this card. I love what you wrote on the inside of it. It is very much appreciated. So thank you for that, Rose. All right, uh, let me show you. I have one more to show you Okay, guys. this gift, birthday gift, is from Sandra. And Sandra, I just want to say thank you so much. This is a beautiful book. I was so excited to get this. Look at this. Crochet for play. I think it says 90, yeah, 90 patterns for food and kitchen crochet for play. The grandbabies are going to love this. Look at that. In fact, I might even start with this and these right here for their Easter baskets that are coming up. So we'll see. <laughs> but this is uh, very nice. I appreciate this so much, Sandra. I, I'm telling you, I've already been digging through this, and look at this, guys. I mean, they show you everything. It's such a cool book. So, I just love this, and, oh, apron. I forgot about that. Look. So, Sandra, thank you so much for this. I needed this. My grandbabies needed this. <laughs> so, um, thank you for this. All right, so one more gift that I received. This is from my sister, Tanya. Some of you guys know her. She's been on here a little bit. So I just want to say thank you for the birthday gift, Tanya. Um, I do have a picture. I will include it here or here. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, I'll show you a picture of me and Tanya in front of my fireplace with it. But she made me a blanket, guys. Look at that. Or an Afghan throw, whatever. I don't know. Isn't it beautiful? She put a lot of work into this. I've never had anybody make me a blanket before. <laughs> so I was so, I don't know, when I opened that, I was like, what? I got a blanket? For real? <laughs> so thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate this. Um, colors are beautiful. I can't wait to use this this fall. It is going to look so good in my living room and it's going to sit in my chair and I will be using this all winter and all fall and early spring. <laughs> so thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate it. It is just beautiful. Just beautiful. I taught her how to do this stitch, guys. <laughs> all right, let's see what else do I have. So this part is sponsored. So New Craft Day reached out and asked if I wanted uh, to pick out a few things and show them off on my channel. So I happen to like New Craft Day and I've done several videos for them. And so I was like, sure. <laughs> so one of the things I picked out are these crochet hooks. And I don't know what I was thinking, guys. But Tanya brought it to my attention. She's like, well, what about that? Getting snagged on everything. So 
I'm like, I haven't tried it yet because I didn't want to take it out of this package. But um, let's just take a look at this. <laughs> this is crazy looking. I don't, really don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I crochet like this. So I just wonder, like she said, is that going to snag on everything? You know, I don't know. It's pretty sharp. Um... Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I was going to see if maybe it will cut yarn, but it doesn't. So, and since, let's see, yeah, I crochet like this. So, I don't know. I mean, if it went up, maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but then this is crooked for me. So, but it does, it is neat. I like the color of it and all that kind of stuff. And the size is just right. Has a short shaft. I really like that. Um, until I actually start working with it. So, um, I will let you know what I think about that. But I'll leave the link below for this and then the next item I'm going to show you because I believe there's a discount, um, uh, with the link. So, I'll leave that. Um, they, they are really cool, like I said, except for that right there. But this is a 2.5. So, it comes with a 6, a 5.5, a 5.0, 4.5, 4.0, 3 3.5, 3 a 3.0, and a 2.5. Now, the thing that I'm working on right now for the doll shoe has to be a 3.0. So, let me pull that one out, and I'll work with that to make the doll shoes. And I will get back with you on what I think about that little pointed end. But it is cool, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> All right, so this other thing right here. My sister Tanya has a birthday coming up, and so I am giving this to her for her birthday. Um, but it's really cool. I love this. I figured if it was something that I really wanted, that she will really want. So I went ahead and ordered that. But it unsnaps and unzips. And look at all that crochet goodiness in there, guys. Look at that. It's a good little travel bag for her to take places. So it comes with these crochet hooks. These things are pretty heavy. Wow. Um, oh, they got a pink color in there I haven't seen before. Let's see what size that pink is. Um, it's an 8.0. All right, Tanya, you're going to love it. It's an 8.0. Yeah, I haven't seen that. So anyway, so it comes with these nice crochet hooks, the nice short shaft. She's going to love it. And in this bag, you get, this looks like some yarn needles, look at there, tape measure, row counter, stitch markers, and I'm not sure what that right there is. Maybe that has something to do with knitting. I'm really not sure about that. Oh, well, it looks like it cuts yarn right there. Look, there's like a little razor blade. Okay. So, that's really nice. Tanya, you're going to love this. And the bag is like lined inside there. So, I guess it will help keep it things from getting wet. So, anyway, new craft day. I'll leave their link below. Like I said, I've gotten several things from them. And I've always enjoyed the things that I've got from them. So, thank you, new craft day, for that. I truly appreciate it. And like I said, I will leave links below for you guys and show what you guys are working on so that we can be inspired. Now, here we have Kathy's. Kathy says she only has one whip going on right now, and it is a hexagon cardigan by Make and Do Crew. Now, she does have a picture of some of her finished FOs of baby items from various other tutorials. And uh, so go to my Facebook page and you can see all those different items that she's working on. Everything is just beautiful, Kathy. Okay, now we have Rose. She is working on a beautiful spring top and I love the colors and I think you're doing a wonderful job and I can't wait to see it completed, Rose. Thank you so much for sharing this. Okay, here we have Patsy's and Patsy says she only has one in progress and it's a baby sweater and hat by Yarn Inspirations that I told everybody about when I showed it off back when I was making it for my granddaughter. And she said it is a favorite for her. Well, I love it too, Patsy. She said that she was showered with gifts by her husband for her birthday last Friday. Happy birthday, Patsy. 
She says she got a new cart and she's keeping yarns on it for future amigurumi projects and doll clothes. She's also got a set of tulip crochet hooks and eight totes from Joann's. She said she's been busy sorting yarn and trying to organize her crochet room. She said, trust me, it is a whip. Have a blessed day, dear friends. Well, Patsy, I'm actually working on my yarn room as well. Here we have Pam's, and Pam says, good afternoon. She says she's finally finished the Sweet Illusions Afghan from Bag o Day. The top shelf is the new kid on the block, Baby Afghan from Bag o Day, and the Loved Up by Granny Beanie from Crocheting with Alana. The middle shelf has some peeps from Rose and Lily Crochet for her grandkids' Easter baskets. And lastly, the bottom shelf is the start of a pillow to match her daughter's afghan in the beginnings of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from La Quisade de Punches for a commission. She says, have a wonderfully blessed week. So now we have Kim's. Kim says that this is her corner and she's working on a purple hat. She says she's also making plarn for her mother. And she's also making little things for the grands. Oh, that's so sweet, Kim. And uh, she says, Wednesdays are her favorite podcast. Well, I am so glad to hear that, Kim. Thank you so much for saying that. And thank you for the happy birthday okay, wish. Those were beautiful. Thank you guys for uh, posting in Facebook and sending me emails and stuff. We all really appreciate that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do our Buy Steel Waters. It says, The God of Open Doors. Ask and it will be given to you, and seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. That's Matthew 7, 7. Boy, oh boy, this old world sure can be a friendly, friendless, I start to say friendliness. <laughs> it sure can be a friendless kind of place at times. Kids grow up feeling left out of various social circus. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to start all over on this. All right, let's 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 just start over. Okay, boy, oh boy, this old world sure can be a friendless kind of place at times. Kids grow up feeling left out of various social circles, in sports, in clubs, on the bus, in the cafeteria, as well as in the classroom, and unfortunately, sometimes even in the uh, church youth group. You name it, and kids can, can and will be left behind, sometimes unintentionally, other times intentionally. And grown-ups aren't suddenly immune to this problem when they get out of school. They visit social media sites in hopes of staying happily involved and connected with others. Only to discover that at times they feel truly disenchanted and more lonesome than ever. But where mankind fails us and people will fail us, God does not. We are reminded in Matthew 7-7 that He is a God of open doors. If you seek Him, you will indeed find Him. If you knock, he will open the door for you. No closed heart or locked doors or social snubs there. Doesn't that sound lovely? Doesn't that sound warm right down to your soul? Imagine being invited into the company of the living Savior right here, right now. Thank you, Lord, that I serve a God. Invitations and open doors. Amen. Wow, that was just beautiful. I needed that today. And I hope that you guys did too. I hope it helped you. It has helped me. All right, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.